Hey Gemini, welcome to the Grace of Thrones if this is your first time. If this is not welcome back, I do appreciate your support. So I'm going to be doing a double check in for you and then I'll pull some oracles to see what's going around the energy that comes out. Um, so your opening affirmation is today I'm ready to receive love. Today I'm open to being loved by another healthy person. All right. Sounds good to me. What's going on for Gemini, please? In Gemini. All right, so in your recent past, I see a lot of enthusiasm here, a lot of good news, all right? Uh, in areas where, like, you had to be really disciplined and be responsible, right? And there was a lot of competition, but you held, you held your ground, all right? Being courageous, you're feeling like really energetic at this time. Your energy has been was uh, really picked up in the recent past. Um, some of you guys are like um, like just feeling really young. Well, you guys could be like could have came like met someone that's really young. Some of you guys are into sales. Some of you guys are actors, politicians, preachers, inspirational speakers, athletes, performers, and right now, spirit is saying like. Yeah, whatever you did in the recent past is a yes, boo. It was like a good move. Like, you made a good move, all right? Yes, yeah, so right now, Spirit wants you to budget for a pentacle. How are you spending all that money? And right now, you could be holding on to people, possessions, and issues that are like past from the past deep seated like that you that you need to just let go or some of you guys could like you know be hoarding or hoarders all right a little stingy all right <laughs> a little controlling a little possessive um but there is financial stability and security some of you guys could be saving for something really big um some of you guys are like purchasing something really big or saving for retirement um but there is a sense of agreed for materialism and wealth so be mindful a capricorn can be significant here um and a sagittarius i have okay you can have this in your chart just could be significant but budgeting is key for you at this time be careful what you're holding on to um so if you guys are holding on to things that no longer serve you let that shit go and just um and some guys you need to hold on and budget with your finances okay save all right, um, so your fate, your outcome is the Seven of Cups in reverse. When it comes to your dreams, like, there could be a reality that you don't really like, but you're getting clarity. Um, and maybe some of you guys are, like, um, recovering and, like, you know, really focused on sober, sobriety, sobriety, if I'm saying it right, which is, like, being sober, all right? Um, there's some poor choices that you need to be mindful of or, like, you know... You need to make a choice, all right, with something. Um, but there are opportunities and there are options for you. So, what you gonna do? Baby, it's up to you. And let's do the next check in. Gemini. It's crazy because this like came out before your read, but I was like, let me, if it comes back out, if it's mental, it'll come back out, which it is mental, all right? So, I feel like something in your recent past where a wish came true for you, where um, you know, something especially in love with some area that you love. Some of you guys could have met the love of your life. You are my friend. All right, but there's some concerns that faded away for you, baby. All right, and right now, yeah, with that boy, because you're really realizing that life has taught you a lot. Archangel cameo. Some of you guys have a lot of life experience. Um, there is a significant life event at this time where there's a powerful revelation that's leading to change and it's time to spread your wings my dear okay okay and eight of earth is your outcome pentacles okay so you want this money honey you want this stay focused all right your skill work is being rewarded all right learning as we got to learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school so yeah, stay focused, my dear. At the bottom deck, um, we have the number 13 and release Archangel Azariel. Azriel. 
So you have two archangels showing them. So yeah, there's a lot of like, um, like divine intervention on your behalf, right? But there's something that you need to release. There's the end of a phase of situation and definitely a spiritual transformation for you this time where it's just time for you to move on, my dear. It's time, all right? Number 13 is significant to hope and you need to nurture yourself. Let's see what's going on around you. Your angels are where you are going through a difficult time. They want you to put your energy into taking care of yourself. Plant a seed somewhere where you can watch it grow. And as you nurture this new life, you are nurturing your own as it gets acquainted with what surrounds you now. All right, Little Red Riding Hood, I am not a victim. The number three, we had this for you too, like um, your last couple of reads. You're not a victim, so please find harmony in mind, body, and spirit, okay? And spirit does not want you to see yourself as a victim, all right? But rather uh, as a victor, all right? It's you got the victory. It's time to become a great leader, the number 20, all right? Okay, Elizabeth and the nine. Okay, and my bird just spread her wings. The spirit did say that you need to spread your, spread your wings. All right, Um. right, let's see. Today, I am resourceful. Today, I will turn anything into an opportunity, so... What you want to do, go ahead and do it, baby. Go ahead. All right, a lot of prosperity for you. All right, so yes. Um, be well, be blessed, and I will see you soon. All right, Shay. Oh, you don't want to leave? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye-bye.